they must be so scared about going to the police station. Well, Izzy's going with her. She'll, uh, she'll look after her, love. Listen to me. You've got nothing to worry about, OK? No one is going to believe her. And what if you're wrong? Stop fussing, all right? I'm not a little kid anymore. I know you're not, but I can't help being your big sis. Morning! I couldn't help but notice that you're advertising for a nanny. Yeah. Uh, would you know anyone that's interested? I do indeed. Oh, excellent. Who? Me. <sighs> wow. Well, your advert mentions responsible and trustworthy. I couldn't describe myself better. Yes, and I'm sure that you're very, uh, capable. But there is an interview process. Oh, fine by me. Pick a time. Um, well, should we say 7.30? Smashing! <laughs> Prepare to be dazzled. Mm. What's just happened? You forgot to say you get old. How much longer are we going to have to sit here? No idea. Why can't we just do this at school with Mr Packer? Because the police take these sort of complaints very seriously, Faye. How seriously? Look where you are, Faye. Don't get much more serious than that. They're not going to put Mum in prison. That all depends on you. If they think you're telling the truth, you won't have any choice. This isn't what I wanted. I know. It's not too late to stop. I'm sorry about the delay, Faye. This is Stephen. Hi, Faye. Stephen's going to ask you a few questions now. Is that all right? You won't leave me, will you? Of course I won't. I will wait right here. A nanny? I really feel I can make a difference. Very commendable. <laughs> That's one way of describing it. Chris. No. I mean, I mean, look, with all due respect to Mary, these are two young, very vulnerable children. And your point is? My point is, she hasn't had any experience. I cared for my mother. No, oh, that's not the same. And, well, besides that, I'm sure you need diplomas and that sort of thing. Stop being so negative. It's called being realistic. Those poor children have seen their world turned upside down. Perhaps a familiar face is just what they need. <sighs> Yeah, that may be so, but knowing Dev, and I do, I'm, I'm sure he'd be looking for a particular type. You mean a dolly bird? Your words, not mine. You know, I pity you sometimes, Norris Cole. That man is still grieving for goodness sake. He needs sympathy, not cynicism. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to freshen up my resume. You do that, love. Oh, why? Why are you feeding this insanity? It keeps her busy. Yeah, well, maybe, but she doesn't have the faintest chance of success. Look, stranger things have happened. <gasps> Say what you like about our Mary, she will not be wanting in the affection department. Oh, well, neither is your average collie. <laughs> Kirk? Yes, Miss Connor? You're filling up over here, love. Come in. Oh, and um, don't forget there's a staff meeting tonight, right? Right you are. Oh, that's the sound of her own voice, that one. Ah, thanks, Kirk. You're welcome. Oh, I meant to ask earlier. How's everything at home? Yeah, so so. Chase is putting a brave face on it. I wish there was something I could do. Are you still meeting him at dinner time? Yeah, as far as I know. Well, then you're doing something. Right, should we have a brew? Oh, murder one. Kirk? Please. I feel so bad for him. You do. I really thought him and Katie had what we have. <sighs> Listen, you big softy. Chess will be right as rain. Besides, there's plenty more fish in the sea. Yeah, you say that. But Chesney's more like a penguin. Okay. Now I'm lost. A penguin? Mate for life? <laughs> do one. Hey, love. Listen, I can't talk long, but uh, do you fancy meeting me at dinner? Oh, no, no, there's no wrong. I just want you to meet someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good afternoon. 
Hi. And how are we today? Fair to middling. Uh, comfort eating? Well, please feel free to binge. <laughs> The toffees are for Lloyd. Oh, please, no justification necessary. 120, please. Uh, you'll need to excuse Norris. He's having a tax-free oh. day. Well, you've heard about me and Paul, then. Oh, well, we, we wouldn't want to pry. Uh, Julie did mention that Paul had moved in with her and Brian. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Well, at least he, he seems to have fallen on his feet. Norris! <laughs> but, no, I, I'm just saying that your sister seems intent on spoiling him. It was, well, it was croissants and high-end periodicals the other day. <laughs> That's our jewels, another one with zero tax, <laughs> but her heart of gold more than compensates. I'm sure it's only a temporary split. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. Uh, I hear the trick is keep busy. Oh, just as well I'm going on holiday then. Huh? Oh, where to? Egypt. Two weeks. Oh. Was having second thoughts, but now I can't wait to flee the country. Some time away will do you the world of good. Help you to find perspective, you know. Yes, and, and if you can't find perspective, at least you can comfort yourself in the knowledge that you're in possession of your home, unlike fellow Jilty Gale. Thank you, Norris. And just so you know, when I see my first dusty, moth-eaten mummy, rest assured I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> You told your headmaster, Mr. Packham, that your mum hurt you. Is that correct? Faye, I can't help you unless you talk to me. You said your mum hit you. Yeah. Was that a yes? Yeah. Okay, tell me what else happened. Is it true she could go to prison? That isn't something you need to worry about. But she might go to prison. All I'm interested in is making sure that you're safe. OK? OK. Thank you. Quick question. Which sounds better, tour guide or sightseeing coordinator? Oh, I haven't got a clue. My love. I haven't got time for you to find yourselves a seat. Anna, love, I'm still waiting for me, butty. Yeah, and I've told you, eyes making. He's only got one pair of flaming hands. All right, keep your hair on. Anna, might I have a moment, please? What be long? What? Would you like to get some air? No, I'm fine. In which case, I insist you apologise to Michelle. Please. I was out of line just then. Butty's on me. Oh no, don't be daft. I know things are a bit difficult for you. Difficult in what way? Well, you know, I, I just heard that you're having a, a few problems with Faye. Oh, did you now? Yeah, there's anything I can do. Yeah, well, if you want to do something, mind your own business! I know, I know, I know, that's enough. Oh. Come on, you, let's get you on, mate. Come on. Right, I'm yeah, no, oh, come on. Go, you come on. You go, you go. It's very sharp. Thank you. Um, yeah. oh, oh. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. You never have to apologise to me, Faye. Look, I know it's hard, but the only way to feel better is to let it all out. I'm scared. Of what? You can tell me. I don't anyone even noticed. Ha ah, ha, very funny. I get it. Look, I'll take the afternoon off work, yeah? Keep you company. Oh, don't be daft anyway, Katie's here. Afternoon. Where's Faye? Oh, she's still at the police station with Miss Armstrong, I'm afraid. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just routine. What do you mean, there's nothing to worry about, just routine? Just... Sorry, can you just cut to the chase, please? <sighs> Your daughter has dropped all allegations. Oh. <sighs> She's admitted to making the whole story up. I knew she wouldn't go through with it, love. And what about the police? Oh, there won't be any action taken. Your mum's in the clear. She always was. 
Listen, maybe we should leave him to it, eh? Yeah, go on, you're going back to work. That'd be okay. Yeah, listen to him, Dad. All right, well, call me if you need anything, all right? Yeah. Katie, can you, um, can you give us a minute, please, darling? Yeah, sure. Where to begin? Well, just tell me why. Well, first off, Anna, Faye didn't want to get you into any trouble at all. She just thought that we'd take her away. And let her live with her father. In a nutshell, yeah. I get so frustrated sometimes when I think about my ex-wife. I just wish I could make Faye realise just how special your mum is. Listen, this bloke's turned her head, that's all. It'll be old news soon, I Yeah, promise. well, I hope for Anna's sake, you're right. All right. Hi, love. Hello, Armstrong Construction. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, not bad. Are you uh, sleeping all right? Uh, if you're asking if we got over the break-in, the answer's yeah. So the flat feels more secure? 100%. Where are you off to? Uh, fresh clothes. Well, jump in the van, I'll take you. No, 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 don't be silly. It's no trouble. No, honestly, I'd rather the exercise. Yeah, no, yeah well, I'd rather you take yeah, it easy. Yeah, all right, mate. Yeah, bye. What's going on? I'm just running Tilly down to the shops. What belong? We're well, supposed to be going to the builders' meeting. Yeah, look, I'll be 30 minutes tops. It's no big deal. Yeah, and I did offer to walk. Ignore her. Honestly, I'll be back before you know it. Right. Let's hit the road. Oh. Faye just needs time to adjust, Anna. Remember, it's still all really new for her. You think the novelty will wear off? I won't put it quite like that, but in my experience, yeah. Well, I wish I had your confidence. It's all about finding a workable solution that suits all parties. Look, I've tried everything I can, you know. I've bent over backwards. I don't know what else I can do. Which is why you're not going to go through this on your own. Trust me. You and your daughter, you're going to get through this. Are you ready to order yet? Sorry, not yet. Mmm, mm, that's a gorgeous scent you're wearing, by the way. Oh, thank you. I love sandalwood, me, especially with a hint of vanilla. You have a very good nose. Yeah, I make soaps. It's like a sideline I've got. It's always worth having another string to your bow. Well, that's what my nan always says. She sounds a very wise woman. Mm, she has moments. Mm. You take all the time you need. Auntie Beth, hi, you love. Oh. Mm. oh, you could have at least made more of an effort. Mm. She loves me, really. Oh, hi, you must be Kirk. I'm Sinead. Hiya. Uh, you know what I expected? Oh, with my family, yeah, I get that a lot. Mm. So, what's this all about, anyway? Uh, what's what all about? Well, never you mind that. Oh, look, there's Ches over there waiting. Oh, yeah. Mm. Nice meeting you. You too. So, how's Greg doing? Oh, he's been a bit quiet, though he's never exactly been Jonathan Ross, has he? Oh, maybe he's just at a funny age. Oh, I suppose. I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Forget it. Who's that? Sinead, Beth's niece. Well, in terms of the next step, I suggest a meeting at my office with Mr Metcalf and yourself. OK. Yeah. If there's going to be any ongoing contact, it's best we establish a proper structure. I'll get it. That's probably Faye now. Remember, don't confront her. Just let her talk when she's ready. Hey, Faye. Hiya. I won't come in. She's had a really stressful day. That makes two of us. Poor Anna. I don't know how she copes. I know, I'm just glad Dad's there to look after her. It's just as well I'm not exactly much use at the moment. Don't be so hard on yourself. Is I'm a mess. You know it and I know it. You back then? Everything all right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll be long in a moment. Yeah, it's all right, take time. I've got to go. I know. Well, we'll talk later, yeah? Maybe go to the bistro? Give you a break from the house. Well, what about Joseph? I can't ask Anna. So ask Chesney. After yesterday, it feels a bit weird. Fine, I'll get Fizz to be of it. I won't take no for an answer. You could sound slightly more enthusiastic. He has a baby. So? So, you know how I feel about that? He didn't walk out, all right? His girlfriend did the dirty on him and took the kid. Oh. Chess is a brilliant dad and a brilliant guy. I wouldn't have asked you to come if you want. Just come for one drink. You'll really like him, I promise. Mm -hmm. All right. You're a 
a star. What if he turns out like the last joke? Hey, fair's fair. I was trolled when I set you up with him. This one's a keeper. Mm. We'll see. Mm -hmm. If he's only once, what's best for you? I know. Sorry. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah. What are you doing tonight? Let me rephrase that. You're coming out with us tonight, and no isn't an option. Afternoon. Hey, I see you're reading the advert. I must say you're very brave. Brave? I don't really follow. Oh, do you know what? I've said too much already. It's only rumours about the father after all. Rumours? What rumours? Let's just say he's known to be a touch hands-on with his female employees. Hi. Can I help? Uh, no, sir. Dev? Yeah? It's the phone for you. Run for the hills, love. Run for the hills. Yeah, who, who, who was that woman? The competition. Oh, so you still insist on pursuing this harebrained nanny idea? Why can't you ever believe in me, Norris? I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> you sit out for an hour. I got delayed, all right. I'm allowed to wait for the materials, Gary. I'm on it. Oh, don't make it happy, Abby. I, uh, I landed you in it there, didn't I? No, don't worry about it. He's all back. Yeah, well, he's your boss. Well, you and the baby are more important. Gary. No, I mean it. And if he can't deal with that, then that's his problem. Two weeks by a swimming pool is just what the doctor ordered. It's all inclusive, isn't it? Yeah, you know what that means, don't you? Guilt-free indulgence. Oh. Well, you deserve it, ma'am. I've got the whole day planned out. Get up at 10 o'clock, 10.30, continental breakfast. Continental? Doesn't sound like you. Bear with me. 11 o'clock down to the pool, a few rays, read my book. 11.30, first drink of the day, gin and tonic, I think, and then a big blowout lunch. Ah, uh, now I get the whole continental thing. And then back to the pool, two hours kip, relaxing dip, mm, cocktail, then I'm ready for the evening. Sounds perfect. All I want to do this holiday is veg. I don't want to think about anything or anyone. Well, it'll be like Paul never existed. Oh, I'll get that. Set amongst the palm trees. Lovely views out to the ancient city. Hey, guess what? They've got three pools. I'll have to get an extra cosy. Uh, not to mention a good quality pair of walking shoes. Oh, we need to talk excursions. Thanks for checking, Anna. Oh, it's not a problem. How did she seem to you? Quiet. It's obvious she feels really bad. Oh, I don't want her to feel bad. Yeah, she knows that. Look, I'm not being funny, but... I think you being so understanding actually makes it feel worse. What do you think I should do? It's not my place, is it? I'm asking you. Mum to mum. OK, well, truthfully, I don't think Tim's going away anytime soon. No, me neither. You said you were going to wear makeup. I am wearing makeup. You're wearing lippy. Yeah, and that's all you're getting. <sighs> She's always been like this. She means not all then. Where's Chess? Hiya! We're over here, love. All right. <gasps> Sorry I'm late. I was playing with Joseph. Why oh, is he round at the house? Yeah, Fizz is looking after him. Oh. Apparently Kate is out tonight. Hey, don't my knees look knockout? Uh, yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that, Sinead? It reckons you're stunning. Drink. Uh. Yes, please. Come on, lover. Let's get you a drink. <sighs> I'm sorry about me aunt. She's got a big, you know... Heart. Kate call. <laughs> I'm Sinead. Oh, Chesney. <laughs> I've never really met a Chesney before. Well, that's cos I'm the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> you rate yourself, don't you? Blimey. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's his song. Whose song? Chesney Hawks. Chesney Hawks? He was a singer from back in the day. Yeah. My mum named me after him. Him and Eric Cantona. Oh. I hate my name. Not as much as I hate mine. Why? Well, what's wrong with it? Begins with an S, doesn't it? I don't follow. My surname's Tinker. Look it out. Ah. Stinker. Yeah. Stinker Tinker. That was my childhood. I wouldn't have minded, but I've always smelt quite nice. Ah. Well. Here's the rubbish names. I'll drink to that. <laughs> I think we might have lift off. 
I mean, there's so many things to do that it's almost bewildering. Karnak, Giza, the Grand Bazaar at Cairo. <laughs> the list is endless. Mm. Can't help noticing they all appear to involve waking up at some ungodly hour. Oh, now you're talking like a tourist, not a traveller. Oh, well, that explains it, then. Oh, besides, what could be more beautiful than an Egyptian sunrise? Mm, nice lion. Oh, come on, ma'am. Where's your sense of adventure? Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll leave all these with you, and then we can firm up our itinerary later. Can't wait. Mark my words. This is going to be the holiday to end all holidays. <laughs> See you later. This is going to be the end of me. Well, look on the upside. You have a chance to think about him, will you? Yeah. Yeah, there is that, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. So what's the plan of action? Do we have a family sit down or what? I don't know. I can have a word. <sighs> oh, no, leave her be. I thought you'd be happier than this. Why on earth would you think that? She admitted lying. And that makes everything OK? No, of course not. The fact that she felt she even needed to lie in the first place breaks me out. I know you want me to be strong and keep fighting, but I'm not sure that's the answer anymore. I don't follow. I can't win, Owen. So what are you saying? <sighs> I'm saying I think that Faye should live with her dad. And we return to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>